Kia ora tato. Where's all your mates gone? This feels like uh, Parliament. I'm usually sitting in that house and it's damn empty when I've got something to say. Kia ora tato. Kia ora tato i tēnei rā. Tēnā koe tāni, I just saw your last um, slide where it said end of life. That sounds like an act uh, policy. Um, and so, um, kei te mihetu rā kia, kia koe, uh, kia, kia koutou, uh, ko tai mai nei tēnei rā, me tainehi, me te rā i mūna atu i tērā, uh, for those who have presented their beautiful taonga uh, to those who have been fortunate enough to sit here and, and listen to all the kaupapa out there. Willie, Willie Jackson said yesterday, that um, Māori have the solutions. Māori don't have the solutions. We are the solutions. And so if we all work together, I see a whole lot of kaupapa that have been here over the last uh, three days. And if we all work together, we are the solution to a houselessness issue. And that's the issue we're talking about. And I take the analogy, uh, well, the quarter that Moana Jackson shared with everybody around homelessness and houselessness and the difference between the two. What we're talking about here is houselessness. Because homelessness, Māori have been homeless since 1840, since we signed the Te Tiriti Waitangi. The issue we're dealing with at the moment is houselessness. If we deal to the issue of homelessness, then we can actually deal with the issue of houselessness, which actually the answers lie in Te Tiriti Waitangi. Uh, Shamu Bio said yesterday, Pākehā perspectives versus Māori perspectives, that it's all about understanding. No, no, it's all about arrogance. Because they've had 180 years to understand where we're coming from. I will not accept that the Pākehā perspective, not understanding the Māori perspective, is something we have to accept. I would not accept that. that that's unacceptable. Because I am bilingual. I totally understand their perspective. Actually, I understand their whole thinking patterns. So do all of we in this room. They have no idea about mine. In 180 years. Kapai? So let's get those things right. Is that this is not about perspective. This is about the arrogance of not wanting to acknowledge that Māori have a rangatiratanga perspective. Me pera pēta kukororo. And so, I loved his kōrero yesterday, but there are just some things that we, you know, it's, it's, it's not about um, uh, us understanding anymore. Understanding and trying to uh, uh, understand somebody's ignorance. We've gone past ignorance because it's become arrogance. It's become arrogance. I see it from a Tuesday to a Thursday when I sit in that house. I have to listen to it. I have to feel it. And I tell you what, it's very difficult, it's very difficult to hear that those people in that house and many others that support them outside of the house continue to arrogantly ignore the perspective of rangatiratanga. Kapai? And so, kei te miatura ki a ngāpui, ki te kore ko koutou, ka kore ko te tiriti o waitangi. Ki te kore ko koutou, Article 1, allowing kawana tanga, Article 2, protecting the pre-existing rights of tangata whenua, and Article 3, manaorite. Those things will not be protected in the Tiriti of Waitangi, ki te kore ko kouta. I just want to make that clear, is that that treaty went from the north all the way through down to the south. Kapai, and those of us that signed it, signed it because of the protective measures that they had in the Tiriti of Waitangi. That's what the rangatira tanga is all about. And so, a Tiriti-centric Aotearoa is what you heard, you've heard us talk about, what does that look like? That looks like being the best tangata whenua we can be and the best tangata whenua Aotearoa deserves us to be. Not incarcerated, not unhealthy, not uneducated, not houselessness, and definitely not homelessness. Those things are not the tangata whenua Aotearoa deserves. What does the Aotearoa, treaty centric Aotearoa look like? It looks like how we will treat you on our marae. We will welcome you. We will feed you. Nobody should be hungry. We will house you. Nobody should be homeless, houseless. We will care for you. Everybody should have something to do and to, be feel, to feel like that somebody cares for them. 
We will heal you. We will connect you. We will love you. And those are the things that you are not seeing in the presentations by those who were here yesterday. They are band-aiding. In actual, in actual fact, our people have never suffered more now than they ever have. The cost of living is absolutely killing our people. $18 for a tray of eggs. That's, that's disgusting. And so when they, I take the, the quarter of the rapid Hama Taunui said, He tani fakai tahara mai ko ona niho he hiri wa he kauda. There is a monster coming, and his teeth is made of silver and gold. Ko tona kai he whenua. He will eat his, he will digest all your land. Ko e mataku i te tani fan i ngā niho hiri wa me te kauda. Don't be afraid of his teeth of silver and gold. But don't allow it to be your God. And so when everybody says, oh, we're throwing millions here, we're throwing millions there, because our people have never suffered more. Now, this is absolutely one of the most devastating times for Te Iwi Māori. Absolutely devastating. Homelessness, houselessness, but homelessness is going to be the cure to that. We must look at how we look at constitutional transformation to ensure that the balance of power and decision making. And don't think that we're going cap in hand to the government. That money has been made on the backs of tangata whenua and tangata whenua resources and assets. So don't ever think you're going down to the parliament to ask the minister, minister for money and don't make them feel like they have the power to say yes or no. Kare tōna mana. He is a mahi function. He is there to work for the people. The mana function sits out here amongst our people. So we pera pea tuku kōrero hikama. Kaua tātou e mataku. Nā tātou te nā moni. Nā tātou te nā moni. And so... We don't play politics like they say, well, they are, how they want us to play politics. They say that we're performative, that we find every opportunity to do a haka or a waiata or a karakia or, or anything like that. That just goes to show the value they put into us and who we are and our culture. That's why Matatini only gets $2 million and the symphony orchestra gets 19 to deliver to a crowd of this size. True. And you go to Tabata Tindia, there's thousands of people. Now I know how the symphony orchestra feels right now. <laughs> and do you know what? It's nice to, yes, you're nice to have the bragging rights about, uh, about the kapahaka. But you know, when you win, it's not only the six months you, you did to prepare for kapahaka for the matatini, but now you've got two years of going all over the place for nothing. None of your kaihaka are getting paid. These are the inequalities and the inequities that we face. $700 million, wow, that sounds awesome. They gave damn bloody Air uh, New Zealand $9 million in the first week of the COVID lockdown. They gave Canterbury Finance $1.7 billion to get all those parkers out of the shit. Now I want to be like Shamubiola. I'm not going to mix and mince my words today. This is us here. You know, they know where the money is. A lot of it was thrown into Auckland for their flooding issues and came to be here to But they've turned their back on Hastings, Kaungunu, Tairafiti. They will be the last cab off the rank. And they will get less funding. Where is your Māori response? It was just like COVID. I was stuck on a border control for four weeks with Willie Tiaho. Where's my compensation? Him and I, we made a deal. We said, 
God, cuz what are some of the issues facing? We, we saved everything that day. Oh, that for that four weeks. Well, our people need housing. He goes, oh, okay, well, all right, we need housing. Well, I'll deal with that. And he says, and you need to get into parliament. Well, we've achieved both those things. They called us a racist and a lunatic. <laughs> Every radio station across the country called us a racist and a lunatic. You can work out which one is which. <laughs> Kapai. But these are some of the things we set up the COVID response for our people. Ko te whare e tūana i te ki wainga pārai, he kainga nā te ahi. Ko te whare tūana ki te pātū wata wata, he kainga nā te rangatira. We don't need houses. We need homes. We need communities. We need a pātū wata wata. So everybody that was between Portugirua and Hawaii were looked after. Whānau apanui mai, Pākehā mai. I think we had a couple of Heinemann and Mais in there too. Kairoto itata iwi. Everybody was looked after. Nobody was left behind. When the tide rose, everything rose with it. The problem is outside of those borders, they say when the tide rises, everybody, every, everything rises with it. Well, it's all right for, for Pakia, they're on a cruise ship. But they've left us on a bloody kayak. And so when the tide rises, yes, everything rises with it. But not everybody is on a level playing field. And so Tiriti Waitangi guaranteed a wakahaurua. We don't have a wakahaurua. What do we have? We have a mono waka. Hey, that's what assimilation and subjugation looks like. That you are under one rule. You will dress, you will wear a tie, you will wear cheap. Warehouse shoes. <laughs> you will not wear your tiki. Not a tiki, tiki. <laughs> All of those things. You will, you will dress like us, you will sound like us, you will be like us. Fuck, I'm much much. <laughs> you will not wear your hat. Well, you come and take it off me. Aye. That's what assimilation looks like. That's what the waka looks like at the moment. And sometimes they'll drop a few, uh, they show you the teeth of that tanifa, a bit of silver and gold, and then you, be, you become the waka. You become the ama on their waka. Because the tiriti o waitangi was about manorite. Ko te taha i taha, ko te mana motu hake, ko te taha i taha, ko te kawanatanga. Ko te mea here i te meara, ko te tiriti o waitangi. That's the only thing that is the relationship between Kawanatanga and Mana Motuhake. It's the Tiriti Waitangi. I could talk to you about policies. Willie Jackson talked to you about policies yesterday. Policies come out every three years. Whoever the government is, it's like Tarau Parahas Haka. Every three years, come at it, come at it, kaora, kaora, come at it, come at it, kaora, kaora. Then they tell us got heaps of hoodoo hoodoos. <laughs> Every three years, that house comes down and up. Ours is enduring it. It's all the time. Our fare tipuna katu. But you know, our fare tipuna, when you look at it, it's an even balance. Where's all our architects? Hey. But there one, they say, is a mahi krona, mahi kawanatanga. It actually looks like this. I need to buy his krona. I need to buy his Maori. Now you tell me who's got a father that's got two mahis like this. Actually like this. Now let's get real. It's like the Matawai, who gets seven million dollars. The government holds on to 340 million for Te Reo. Te Mātāwai is not a government agency. It's supposed to be driven from the ground by our people. 340 million the government holds on to. They put into education, health. They're still telling us 
Me pehera te ora ito tata ureo. This is what their mahi looks like. It's rubbish to say that it looks like this, like our faretibuna. Don't use our concepts. And try and bullshit your way through it. You know, and Winston's a little bit right about our Māori. I know people think, ah, oh, what the hell is Winston talking about? I actually support him in terms of them using our Māori kupu on their government agencies. But I don't support the reasons why he has said it. Because his people that he's trying to appeal to, he kaki whero. We've got to fight for our country back. From who? The Prime Minister's still a Pākehā. And the government is still a Pākehā party. Who are you fighting for this country against? They're fighting against themselves. Hey, let's wake up. They got to wake up. We got to wake up. Me kaua tātou e, 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 e pōhehe, kei a rātou te mana. Kei runga i a tātou. So if you fellas want to hear about policies, yes, we've got a plan. The Party of Māori's got a plan. But hey, I know in. Let's just inspire ourselves. Let's inspire ourselves to be who we are truly. Ko tātou te tangata whenua o tēnei, o tēnei, o tēnei whenua e takoto nei, ko Māui tiki tiki. Nāna hoki, ko te whenua e ara nei, ko Aotearoa. Ko Aotearoa. Nō reire hikama, ko enei hoki te wero ki a tātou i tēnei tau. I hope everybody signed the census. They lost 50,000 of us the last census. I predict more than that. I predict more than that. But hopefully people have signed the census because it should be a weapon for us. It determines how much resource goes to our communities in their democracy. Democracy is me. Malamutu hake is us. You never made a decision on your own. I see people going down to protest. I'm here for my mana motuhake. Well, my and mana motuhake don't exist in the same sentence. Because what you're saying is me, singular. Mana motuhake is plural. It's us, kotata. So go ahead too, okay. We've got to teach our kids. Don't go down there and say my mana motuhake. It's our mana motuhake. And that we are here because we have a collective voice. So, kaua tātou haere marara nei ki roto i ngā tua ahua tanga nei. Me whakakotahi ai tātou. Me whakakotahi ai tātou. Me whakakotahi ai ngā whakaaro mo te hangawhare o tēnei, o tēnei hui huinga ki mua i te aroaro o te kāwana tanga. From here, we will take all of the kōrero, and we'll put that in the policy because the policy should be driven from the ground up. So thank you for all for contributing to the Māori Party housing policy. <laughs> You've made my job easy. So kuna hoki tāku i tēnei rā hikama. If you want to hear policy, just let me know. Aye, kao. We've got a plan if you want to hear it. But I can see that like, I haven't heard the bell yet, which is bloody good. Oh, shit. Kei noi tātou. Being a ringer too, the karakia will be longer than my speech. No reira. E hika ma, kei te mohi au. Ko nei hoki te waho whakamutu ngā o tā tātou hui hui ngā i tēnei rā. It's been an absolute privilege to be here for the time that I have. This morning I went over to Awa Nuiarangi for their graduation. And it's nice to see our people succeeding in that particular space. Tāria Naturia. Dame Tāria Naturia received an honorary doctorate today. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's, let's have a paki paki. And that it was wonderful to be able to go over there and congratulate uh, the stalwart, the uncompromising, the courageous wahine Māori that created this unapologetic waka to continue to be the ringa ringa and the wai wai for our mana mutuhake in the kawana tanga space. Nō reira hika maa, kā re tēnei whakatoro i ngā kōrero, kai te miha tūra ki a tātou, ngā tifakaue, taku iwi. A nei a ari ari te rangi, 
roro i te rangi, ke kei hō mai rā, ke a te amohau, te mokopuna a te amohau e mihatu nei ke a, ke a koutou, ke a tātou i tēnei rā. Ngai ui o te motu, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Kia ora tātou.